You have four U.S. senators who've written to the boss, Jeff Bezos, about their concern. Let me just read it. Um, we are concerned by reports that managers at Amazon's warehouses continue to hold stand-up staff meetings before every shift, meetings that result in dozens of staff crowded together in rooms. We are also concerned by reports that hand sanitizer, disinfectant wipes are in short supply at Amazon warehouses um, and that some Amazon warehouses are not receiving additional cleaning. Perhaps most concerned with Amazon's stringent use of rate-based write-ups, which are currently preventing warehouse employees from practicing good sanitary habits. Um, answer that, obviously, because these are on the front lines, these employees. Sure. Well, they are, and I, I just have to say the letter is disappointing because uh, there's uh, almost no truth to some of the accusations they made. Uh, we have gone uh, to extreme measures to ensure that our facilities where our fulfillment center uh, employees are working are uh, cleaned regularly, deep cleaned regularly. We've uh, instituted practices to prevent congregation. Uh, we're supplying uh, everyone with uh, wipes and uh, hand sanitizer. We have the challenge that I mentioned earlier of uh, acquiring masks, uh, but we are working diligently diligently to get as many masks as we can, uh, while, of course, prioritizing delivery to uh, health care workers. So we, we uh, you know, I, I think we are doing uh, extraordinary things. Amazon workers around the country and the world are doing extraordinary things uh, to ensure the safety of our employees while delivering essential goods to uh, millions and millions of people around the world, including household staples, including medical supplies, uh, toiletries and the like uh, that otherwise are very hard to come by because uh, it, you know, some people are ordered by governments to, to shelter in place, mm -hmm. to stay at home, uh, and they rely very heavily on uh, a delivery service like Amazon to get what they need. And what about, uh, you know, we just said that you, you're employing 100,000 new uh, employees. I mean, clearly there's a massive demand as the rest of the retail sector, you know, grinds to a halt. Uh, what about price gouging? We've heard all sorts of, you know, stories of unscrupulous uh, people gouging prices. Mm -hmm. I think you've taken steps to counter that. We have. We're absolutely concerned about this, and any price gouging is intolerable. As you know, Christian, uh, our Amazon stores are not just our own inventory, but uh, are, uh, represent goods sold by third-party sellers. In most cases, well above 55 percent of what you see is from third-party sellers. And when we catch a third-party party seller uh, price gouging, we suspend that seller's account. We've suspended uh, over or nearly 3,900 accounts in the United States alone uh, when we've uh, caught uh, price gouging. And we're working with uh, law enforcement officials, state attorneys general, as well as with uh, the United States uh, uh, Justice Department to refer cases of price gouging, the most egregious cases, for prosecution.